Hello and welcome to another Sort Out MRCOG video. In this video, we will look at respiratory variables in pregnancy. We will sort them out into categories, into those that go up, that go down, and those that remain the same. Here are a bunch of variables. Please stop the video and sort these variables into the categories. We will work through the list once you have done the exercise. Now the first question is, what do all these terms and abbreviations mean? Let's start with two easy reference points. Maximal inspiration and maximal expiration. Now, all the air that I just blew out represents the vital capacity. Even after blowing out everything, there is some air in the lungs. That is the residual volume. Total lung capacity is the vital capacity plus the residual volume. Tidal volume represents our normal breathing. Minute ventilation, or VE, is the total volume of air entering the lungs in a minute. You get minute ventilation by multiplying tidal volume by respiratory rate. So what goes up, what comes down, and what remains the same in pregnancy as the pre-pregnancy state? Oxygen tension, minute ventilation, tidal volume, and inspiratory capacity, as well as arterial pH, go up. On the other hand, carbon dioxide tension, functional residual capacity, and airway resistance goes down. A number of variables including total lung capacity, forced vital capacity, FEV1, PEFR, and vital capacity do not change. Let me try to explain some of these changes. There is a 15% increase in metabolic rate in pregnancy. Therefore, there is a sharp increase in oxygen demand. This need for extra oxygen is met via a 40 to 50% increase in minute ventilation. This increase in minute ventilation is due to an increase in tidal volume. Now, tidal volume goes up due to an improvement in ribcage movements, as well as due to bronchodilatory effects of progesterone, which relaxes smooth muscles. It is important to note that the increase in minute ventilation is achieved by an increase in tidal volume alone, as the respiratory rate does not go up. Increased minute ventilation means there is more oxygen in the body, thus oxygen tension goes up. Increased minute ventilation also means more carbon dioxide is blown out, so there is a reduction in CO2 tension. Now also remember, during healthy pregnancy, the growing uterus pushes up the diaphragm. The diaphragm goes up by about 5 cm. This reduces the functional residual capacity. However, the total lung capacity remains the same. Although the uterus is pushing up the diaphragm, the rest of the thorax enlarges to keep the total lung capacity the same. So that is respiratory physiology in pregnancy sorted. See you in Birmingham for the weekend MRCOG course.